all this stuff out there is BS. Okay. When it comes when it comes to this, the customer is already sold. Right. It's us that screw it up every time. Okay. Every single time, mm-hmm. if they don't pay whatever or don't want to have it, it's because you screwed it up. Something happened. Hey, 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 plumbing pros! Welcome to the 405th episode of Potty Talk, and this is the final um, episode of this um, series mm-hmm. of myth busting. Myth busting. All right, we're debunking plumbing myths. Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, we, we've covered a couple of them. But, you know, I can't find plumbers. Mm-hmm. Okay, or there just aren't enough customers, or I can't make. Enough money. Can't make enough money, money with, with my, my plumbing, plumbing business. business. Okay. And uh, we've covered those. And so if you if you didn't catch them, be sure to go back in the other Absolutely. episode. Absolutely. Okay. And, yep. and, sh- and check them out. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, but this this myth that we're going to bust is mm-hmm. my customers won't pay that. <laughs> you ever said anything like that or thought something like that? or If, I, if you I, raise your right, rates, yeah. Right. I, I can't charge that. I can't charge that. That's Okay. What I, I can't mm-hmm. charge that. Mm-hmm. My customers will never pay that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and we're talking about when we need to charge what we need to charge. And as we've talked about in this in past episodes, and, you know, it's this honest hourly rate. You know? Honest hourly you know, honest rate. Honest hourly rate. And when you, and when you actually, which, again, the, the sub, subtitle of, of this series is, you know, stop thinking like a plumber and start thinking like a plumbing business owner. Mm-hmm. And we start thinking like a plumbing business owner and we actually determine, figure out what our honest hourly rate is, we're going to discover that it's, it's higher than what we have been charging. Always. always, always, always is always, okay. Always. But the thing about it is, numbers don't lie. Right. If if you do this exercise, again, we've got this in the Success Academy. If you do this exercise with with all the calculations and everything, the numbers don't lie. Um, and, and we've we've seen it time and time again, um, where right. you know s- some of our clients will, will go through it and they'll say that that exact thing. Well, I, I can't charge that. There's no yeah, way. Just, like, okay, well then you can't be in business right. because this is what your business has to have and has to charge to be a business. So exactly. Mm-hmm. And then, and then they, they do find out that when they do, and we see it time and time and time and time again, that is, it's so fun to see mm-hmm. that when they start charging us, they're amazed. They got even less pushback mm-hmm. and there's money in the bank and it's just amazing just charging, time. you know, um, you know, what, what they need to charge. Right. Okay? And so we, again, we teach in the Academy and we, t- we say, just do it and you do it for a month. Just do, just do it. Just charge your true honest hourly rate for one month and see what happens. See, you know, if you have customers literally throwing you out on your ear, right. Or put, putting a gun to your head and like, well, are you crazy? Whatever. Right. Um, and then also at the end of the month, see if you don't have more money in the bank and, I was going to say 99% of the time, 100% of the time, our clients that have gone through it, private coaching clients, um, or have gone through the academy on their own or, or whatever, every single time we hear back, I didn't get pushed back. It's, I can't it, believe I'm finally making money. It, it's amazing. I know we come and we, we talk to, I love, I love talking with the guys and, you know, and even, even the ones that push back, you know, that are, that are more my, you know, been in business now for 20 years and all, I know everything and all that, but you're, you're still in the truck and still struggling, but it's so fun to see. You know, these things are, are simple. This isn't rocket science, right. but it is getting over ourselves. And so I, I love our subtitle here of stop thinking like a plumber. I mean, a guy, I mean, I talk to guys that have been in business, you know, 20 years or it's been the family business for whatever uh-huh. years, but they're still, still struggling. They just right. basically live paycheck to paycheck. Right. All right. Because they're, they're thinking like plumbers mm-hmm. and not like plumbing business owners. Right. And, and when you do, everything changes. Okay. True. But so even, so now that we, we see now what comes mm-hmm. off of this, of this myth or excuse, you know, I can't charge that. And if we even work past that, what happens is, well, then I got to sell. Mm-hmm. There's a sense that I, I have to, and I have to sell, mm-hmm. which, which is wrong too. Right. The, okay. When you say sell, like high pressure sales. Right. right. I'm, I'm selling, mm-hmm. right. That I got to, I got to push my customer into this. And there's some kind of, of manipulation or I need special sales training. You don't need any sales training. And I'll get, I'll tell you why here, here in just a moment. But what we're dealing with here is a, a, under, a misunderstanding or not, a, not an understanding of what you're really selling. Mm-hmm. We're not selling plumbing. <laughs> Again, it, it's so easy to slip back into that plumber thought, you know, that plumber <laughs> think, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, you're not selling plumbing, mm-hmm. okay? Just like, um, and you, I, you've used this analogy lots of time, just like um, a major league baseball um, um, field, what do I want to say? Like stadium, stadium. Yeah. They're, they're not selling baseball. They're not selling baseball. They are selling butts in the seats. Butts in the seats. That's what they're selling. Because they right. know every butt in the seat represents, represents a ticket price, and it also represents some average of what you know you're going to lay down at the concession stands 
and at the the souvenir shop, right? So they're selling butts in the seats. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's what not baseball. Not not baseball. Mm-hmm. So it's getting yes, they're playing baseball. Yes. Yes, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, we're playing football. It's like the same thing goes with football, hockey, whatever, whatever yeah, it sport. is. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's not about it's not about the thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or even, you know, if you go into, probably none of you guys are into opera or, um, you know, down at, um, uh, in Newark on, um, what's all Broadway, Broadway. Thank you. Broadway, Broadway show. They're not selling, um, a a Broadway show. They're selling seats. They're selling the seats, um, butts in the seats. That's what they're selling. Okay. So it has an understanding. I'm not selling plumbing, you know, so you don't have to sell. And the reason you don't have to sell with the plumbing, because with the right, if we're digging in the right spot, which is reference back to, you know, previous episode, right. Okay. We're digging in the right spot, which is where the gold's at. Mm-hmm. We, un- we understand that like with residential service customers, that the value is, is the time. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So we're not, yep. we're not, and it's their time. So taking care of them today. Yes. Okay. So we're, we're, so we're not selling plumbing. So that leads me to, mm-hmm. you know, as we're talking about this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Point number one. Okay. Okay. And then point number one is this. Mm-hmm. All right. Callers or your customers, customers, the, the customers are calling in. Mm-hmm. Callers are already sold. Yep. Okay, they're already sold. Yep. They have they have a problem that you can fix. You don't have to sell. And you're call and they're calling you. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. No one wakes up in the morning <laughs> and wants to call a plumber. Okay. I'll say that again. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Mm-hmm. All right. But but they called you. <laughs> okay. So the emotion and they called you not because hey. Plumber, how you doing? I just wanted to talk with the plumber. <laughs> hey, hey, and I just want to have a have some strange guy come out to my house, okay, and look around at my stuff. You're right. Where get, I'm gonna have to and, clean up a little bit, and right. you know that it looks like a bomb went off underneath. And, the I'm, sink and I'm just and, getting prices. I just want I want you to come out here and give me an estimate and prices. They may say that, but that's not why they call. No. Okay. Mm. All right, that's just an intelligent thing to do because because they're nervous. Or it's a common but, common, right, thing, common to thing to do. Right, mm-hmm. it, it's not it's it, because no one wakes up in the morning wants to call a plumber. They have have an issue, so that's why they're calling you. Right, and they want to get that issue done. Mm-hmm. And they've called you. Right, they've called you to come out to take care of their problem. Mm-hmm. Today. Right. You didn't show right. up at their house just willy nilly, randomly knocked on some, you know, homeowner's right. door. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, I'm, right. I'm Joe the plumber and I've got this great plumbing company. I just thought I'd stop in and see if you need plumbing work done. Right. That didn't happen. Right. They called you. So it was getting, the customer is already sold. There's nothing special about it. You don't need special words, you know, special gimmicks or, you know, some kind of, you know, thing you got to do or got to, you know, some kind of, you know, special dynamic that you got to be taught, you know, and whatever, what are you all, doing? Well, just all, it's just all this, you know, all this stuff out there is BS. Okay. Mm-hmm. When it comes, when it comes to this, the customer is already sold. Right. It's us that screw it up every time. Okay. Every single time. Mm-hmm. If they don't pay whatever, or don't want to have it, it's because you screwed it up. Something happened either, either right. in how you answer the phone in your branding on something, something it, it's on you. Right. So. Because they call, they, they're mm. already sold. Right. They, they're, okay. here, take my money. Right. <laughs> That's it, what they're saying. It's a done deal. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which leads to, mm-hmm. we kind of already mentioned this point number two, mm-hmm. you're not selling plumbing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, sorry. I jumped the shark on I that. I know. But sorry, baby. <laughs> well, it's, it's so, it's so, uh, it's so there. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you're not selling prob, um, plumbing. And that, that is the problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, we're thinking like plumbers. And not a plumbing business owner, right. okay? And you're selling giving their day back. That's right. what you're selling, getting their day back for sure. Um, exactly. Because they they don't want you to be there. We've said that they don't want you in the house. They ju- they just want their day back. Their day has been interrupted by whatever that plumbing issue is, whether that leak, the no hot water, whatever it is, the the um, stopped up drain. Their day's been interrupted. And everybody's busy. You guys know this. Most of you have a family. Life is busy with kids and all that. To have an interruption in your day where you, for one, going to have to figure out what plumber to call and then get a hold of them, see if they'll actually show up. And now, um, you know, wait for them all day if you're not scheduling correctly and you're as well, be out sometime tomorrow, right? Um, yeah, that. Well, and you mentioned, and you mentioned that, you know, if, you know, having a plumber come out and, and what they're going to pay or whatever, mm-hmm. There, that is not the that is not the main concern. Mm. The pay, they'll, yes. they'll ask you about pay, mm. okay, what, what you charge, it's, okay, yeah. which has us in thinking they won't pay. What you know, it, it's it's not it's not a, that's just again it's the common intelligent question that they can ask because mm-hmm. because they're nervous. The, their value or what they want is 
Because again, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber, okay? I know we love plumbing. People don't love plumbing, no. okay? Believe it or and not. And no one wants to spend money with plumbing, so that, that's, that's obvious. But mm-hmm. what they're, they called you, mm-hmm. of everyone out there, and if you've done the other game part where the, you know, you're recognized and they can try, you know, they've called you. They're not, calling, they're not calling around for prices. They're not shopping you. They want you to come out, take care of this problem today, and then get out of their hair. And go away. Go away, right, mm-hmm. Okay. And that, that is what they're paying for. Mm-hmm. That is what they're paying for. Get my day back. So when we look at it, and, you know, I'll throw out there, you know, you hear her say, we literally have clients that are over, charging over $500 an hour. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's not like they're, they're working in Beverly Hills. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're, we're, right. we're talking, you know, St. Louis, mm-hmm. um, the North Pole. Mm-hmm. Um, Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, where, where you think, well, they don't, the customers won't pay, you know, the working people won't pay. Cause that's not what, that's not what they're buying. They're not buying plumbing. Right. Okay. They're buying that you came out and um, gave them the experience and the experience being the, that the whole experience that they were respected. Um, they were treated not, you know, we were talking about this in service, you know, service today sucks everywhere. It's so, it's so easy to stand it's out. It's so easy to stand out. Because now even with door, I mean, I deliver pizza. When I was a kid, I delivered pizzas for three years mm. and you had to go and go to their door and you're smiling and all that. And mm. Hey, thank you. And all that. Now even with DoorDash, it's okay. They don't, they just leave the food at your door and it's raining outside. <laughs> and what, there's, there's, there's no, there's no service mm-hmm. in anything, mm-hmm. anywhere you go. I mean, and you do this um, exercise call um, off of a cell phone that doesn't have your business name um, as a caller ID. Call right. some of the other plumbing companies in your area and just say, hey, can I get a quote on whatever, you know, just make up some plumbing issue and just see the interaction that you get with um, different plumbing companies. Call some big ones and then call some small ones and just see. Um, and then just pay attention to when you're calling for service on something that, that you need. Pay attention to um, the service that you're getting. We're not getting good service. And McDonald's, the only one would be Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. It's going to say fast food, but Chick-fil-A you always I mean, we, get. We, we fly. We, we're blessed to be able to fly and we fly first class and we fly, you know, and, and all that. It, it, guys, it used to be when you'd fly, I mean, it was like, I mean, just a few years ago, even it, it was service service and you were treated, especially your first class, you mm-hmm. were treated like, we're so glad that you're here. Mm-hmm. You're paying. We live for you. Now you're just part, mm, mm, part of the cattle, ca- cattle. Mm-hmm. And, they, and they treat you like that. And, right. the, and the person that, you know, the attendant is, mm-hmm. you know, half pissed that they even have to look at you, deal mm-hmm. with you. The fact they don't look at you, right. that is, that is, that's your, com- that's your competition. That's right. That is your competition. Yes, the other plumbing companies are your direct competition, but anybody that provides service is your competition. Right. So easy, so easy, easy. to stand out um, and be recognized as a business that serves their customer well. And part of that, and that's what people will pay for. Yes. And it, that's what they will value. Okay. And, and I've used the, um, and people will pay more than what what your competition is charging because they don't value themselves. They don't know what their honest hourly rate right. is mm-hmm. and that's what they think they're worth. And do they have customers? Yeah. In fact, they're advertising that and they're attracting the, the you know, the, the, the goodwill customers. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you look like goodwill and that's what you're charging, you know, you're going to attract those goodwill customers. Right. Let not, them but, have not, them. but not everyone shops at goodwill. Right. You know, some oh, people char- such- shops at target, uh, Nordstrom's, you know, other pay- people pay more. I mm-hmm. use the example of, you know, a great example of even kind of the value. Well, it's not worth that. Well, no, it's not, not, you're not paying for the hamburger. I use the hamburger example. Mm-hmm. You can go to McDonald's and get a, get a hamburger for 99 cents. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah. Uh, but, but, you mm-hmm. know, whatever. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. 99, 99 cents. Right. And but, it's fast too. Right. You get fast. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and it's <clears throat> there and it's, you know, it's, it's good. I mean, I've had, you know, hamburgers recently. <laughs> I mean, from McDonald's. I mean, mm-hmm. they're still good. And it's, you know, it's decent size and, mm-hmm. and it'll it's fill that, you up. Fill you, right. Fill that. But, it'll you know, do the trick. But it's just, if, if the person that you're getting a hamburger from is, you know, they, 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 they don't even barely recognize you. They can't count change. <laughs> you know, everyone's slow. Everyone looks sloppy. Mm-hmm. The place is sticky, that, that kind of thing. But then you go to, you know, I've had a hamburger, you know, even at a. Um, Red Robin. A re, yeah, it was, you know, Red Robin. Okay. Red Robin. You know, the hamburgers are 10 bucks. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. That's a thousand times more than the <laughs> McDonald's hamburger. Is it really a thousand times more in beef, mm-hmm. in bun, in lettuce, mm-hmm. tomato? Is it a thousand times more? Mm-hmm. Heck no. Because <laughs> nope. they're not selling a hamburger. No. 
they're selling the experience. Look at you know, even a Red Robin. Yeah, there's a clean table. Mm-hmm. Waitress comes up. Usually some kind of perky little you know guy or gal. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's a diner atmosphere, so right. it gives you the whole um, atmosphere of you know old time diner or whatever. It's just a fun experience to go with the family. They usually bring out you know crayons and stuff for the kids. At least back in the day, but where was it? We balloons. We spent. I spent twenty dollars for a hamburger. <laughs> I mean, it was like at it was a high foo foo. You know, it was like a you know. I forget where it was, but I remember thinking twenty. Even I thought twenty dollars. Mm. You know, I was like this is kind of you know. <laughs> it, was it two thousand times or whatever that is more than McDonald's? No, but this place had a linen ta- tablecloth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. if they if they they poured my water, I had watered it and even re- I mean refilled my my Coke. I mean, oh, was it Blue Marlin? It was at the Blue Marlin. The Blue Marlin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's local a, local establishment here in. Okay. That okay. That's yeah, okay. Florida. Mm-hmm. Like 20, 20 bucks. Yeah. For a, mm-hmm. but. It was Mr. Bainey. You have to knew my name, Mr. Bainey, this and that. It couldn't, you know, you got this, you want, you know, and then the things were being filled. We got extra. I mean, it was just without even, it's asking, it's clean, it's fun. Mm-hmm. That's what you're paying for. Right. That's, that's what, what the your customer is paying That's for. what your customer is paying for. Mm-hmm. To get their, to get, get you there today. Mm-hmm. All right. And in, in the experience. All right. Yeah, and have a good experience. And, and that's what you, that's what you want to charge for. You want those. I much rather have, you know, five of those customers a week than 15, 20 of goodwill customers. A yes, week. absolutely. And you know, mm-hmm. you can charge accordingly. You can do the service that y- your company provides and, and feel good about it. Um, no, not going to get pushback. All of that. Take those customers all day, day long. long and you make money with yes. those customers. The others, you're not making money. Mm-hmm. You're actually paying them right. for them to give you a rough time and for you to not make money. Right. And then yeah. haggle over the price. And, right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So you're mm-hmm. not selling plumbing. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, I have something for you here for joining us and sticking around. Check it out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. Or I can't charge that. Okay, which really kind of leads to um, kind of a sales side where there's the pressures and I got to feel like I got to sell. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to sell. You do not have to sell. Okay. But before we get there, guys, um, would really love for you to give us a thumbs up, a like, a review. Um, all, you know, if you love us, give us a five star um, review. Certainly, would appreciate. It. If you hate us, just go away. Leave us alone. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but right. just don't don't do the review. Um, but yeah, subscribe to YouTube or whatever. We'd love to have you do all those things because you know that helps the algorithm and getting the word out. So yeah, appreciate that. All right. Okay. So, yes, we are. Um, myth busting. Customers won't pay that. That's myth number four, four-part series. First one, caller, callers, customers are already sold. When they call you, they're already sold. And mm-hmm. also, you are not selling plumbing. I think we covered that right. extensively. Okay. What is point number three, million-dollar plumber? Point number three, and it's very important, provide a common buying experience. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Provide a common buying experience. Mm-hmm. First of all, I want to say about, and I'll explain more about that here in a moment, but first I want to say people judge a book by its cover. Mm-hmm. Okay. Didn't we already say you that? Got, well, <laughs> I want, I want, well, yeah, I've said, I, I've said it so many times because <laughs> again, it's one of these things of getting past the plumber talk. How many, you know, we get them in or, or just in comments or I work you know, in social back and forth or even when they come into the academy and we're mm-hmm. talking, you know, and it's Joe Blow plumbing. And you look like Joe Blow, butt crack plumber. Mm. Okay. And I love, I love you, man. I'm a plumber. It's where I, where I come from. I get it. My, I'm a proud worker, man. I, I fly my American flag. I do. I get it. Okay. You know, what is it? Uh, I won't, I won't go okay, down. Okay. Okay. Move okay. on, move on, I, move I, on. I, I, I so get it. Okay. <laughs> I so get it. I'm that. Okay. I'm as redneck as you get. Okay. I've cleaned you up a little okay, bit. But, but we cleaned up <laughs> and you, you have to, because people judge, judge it a book by its cover. All right. So if we're showing up, um, you know, if we look like goodwill, that's what, you know, that's what that's, people, that's the value. That's, that's the value. That's the value a customer is going to put on okay. you. Correct. All right. Um, yeah. The other thing too, um, I know you're going to talk about options. That was one thing I want to talk about. I don't know if you want to yeah. kind of go there, but, but providing options because that is a common buying experience. Right. That, that is so, so important. So it's not the broke fix thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, if I'm a, 
if I can't charge that or whatever, just a broke, no matter what you, if you you've come at them with one option, well, first of all, let me say about what does for the customer, which is about make it's about the customer experience. And we want to be, we want to make the customer feel good. And the common buying experience is when they go walk into Walmart and they want to buy a TV, is there one TV? Nope. You say, well, you said you want a TV. This is a TV. It's a TV. Mm-hmm. This, this is, what, this what is big enough for you. This right. This, this TV is big, big enough, enough and for good you. enough for you. This so. is the TV. Yes. Or if you go again, let's go back to McDonald's. Pull up, oh, McDonald's. You pull up to McDonald's. Um, do they just have one hamburger? Oh my no, they don't. Oh. They have a, ha- a hamburger. They have a cheeseburger. They have a double cheeseburger. They have a Big Mac and they have a quarter pounder. Those are all the choices you get for just a hamburger, right? Right. So how would you like it if you pull? What was um? Well, go my. I am going to date myself right here. So the whole Saturday Night Live where it was the diner and mm. you, you all they served was um and cheese butter, butter. Cheese, cheeseburger and they, cheeseburger che- and was that's, it that's old was, that's, that's so right. old was this, you gotta go you look at old. born <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go look at old skit Saturday Night Live but um Blue no cheese. Coke Pepsi. Yeah. Right. And you can have a hamburger and you couldn't order it your way. Like Burger King, you walked up and you, the people that were regulars there would walk up and say, Chibata, Coke, um, Pepsi. It was no Coke, no, no Coke, Pepsi. It was one or the other. Right. But some, then some moron would walk up and say, yeah, I want a hamburger and hold the tomato. No, no. Right. So that, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing to your customer when you're giving them one option. When you say broke fix, broke fix attitude means you, you as a plumber see it's broke and I'm going to do everything well, I can just to the fix flapper. it. The flapper is what's leaking. Mm-hmm. And I want to take it. I don't want to, I don't want to make the customer spend more on what they have or whatever. Who, right. who are you to say? Who are you? Mm-hmm. Who, who are you to say what they want in their household? Mm-hmm. That, that's. Do you think they really want you back out a month later when, you know, the rest of the innards, the, the ball cock and all the right. okay, I have some memory from okay. um, plumbing, well, all that, when all that goes out, right? Is that what, you, is that what, you know, is that, that's not giving right. the customer a good experience. Right. Well, and what this, so, so the common experience is that they have choice. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what's happening psychologically, and here's what, here's, here's the only sales training you need. If you can grasp this, this is the only sales training you need and your guys need. This is it right here. There's, you don't need anything else, all right? It's providing the options because what's that, what that does psychologically to the customer, it gives them something to say no to. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, even though, no one, you know, they woke up this morning, they called, you know, they want to, no one wakes up in the morning, wants to call a plumber, no one wants to spend money at a plumber, but they called you, okay? Even though it doesn't, logically it doesn't make sense, they want to say no. It gives them control. Because of that, because no one wants to spend money with a plumber. Mm. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with the plumber. I don't want to have to call. I don't want to deal with this. Okay. It gives them control. Mm. And so it's not even, when you provide just one option, just the broke fix, it's not a 50, 50, yes, no thing. Mm-mm. It's more like 80, 20, mm-hmm. 80% no. Yep. Every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business. Stop missing those opportunities with Plumbline. Plumline is a 24-7, 365 days a year answering service exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Whether you're the plumber owner still in the truck who needs someone to answer the phone, need the service line answered nights and weekends, just want to catch those overflow calls, Plumline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. That, that's when you're going to hear, I need to talk to my husband or I need, yep. or they've already talked. They just want, they want, they want to say no. It gives, okay. So it gives them something, something to say no to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. Also does another thing, uh, price perspective, oh, which I know, which is your favorite. And this is <laughs> this cycle. Again, this isn't special. You don't need special sales guru training and all that. All you got to know is what your customer, the value is today. Give them options. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gives them something to say no to. Mm-hmm. And then to give price perspective. What's right. price perspective? Mm-hmm. So for the example, I just said the flapper. Okay, you know, we hear this time. But the flapper, the flapper is what's called, what's the problem? And that's what's the fix. And I'm taking care of my customer. I'm not going to overcharge them. I got that in my family. Okay, I, I mean, I got, because we have, I have, right? Mm-hmm. And and they're still working in the truck or they've mm-hmm. died in the truck, literally died in, and were buried in the truck, taken to the graveyard in their truck that they worked in. Okay. okay. That's a true statement. <laughs> because they won't, it's just this. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm, have, yeah, all right. I'm going to broke fix it. I'm going to broke, broke fix it. Okay. Um, but it gives them, I don't know sort of where I'm, where I'm going with that other than it, there was, there's no choice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Price perspective. But pr- price perspective. There mm-hmm. we go. Okay. <laughs> so it's the flapper. Okay, so in the, the case of the flapper, what we want to do is just three options. That's another thing is there's a good, better, best, okay? Mm-hmm. We, we live in a good, better, best society, okay? Not, 
not the four and seven in my super duper um, water softener conditioning green machine, okay, or whatever. Or not two, not one, okay, three. Everything we go, think about it, is a good, better, best, okay? Right. And yep. so we want to present that the same way to, to our customers. Mm -hmm. So the good is the fix, is why the customer called you out. Not that you call it the fix, but you want to let Mrs. Jones know why she called you out. Mm -hmm. You know, that tinkling sound you've been hearing? Well, that's your flapper here. That's the good. Mm -hmm. Then you want to offer a better, okay? A better is um, an upgrade of the fix, okay? So in the case you mentioned, you know, the flapper uh, flapper, and a fill valve. A minor fill valve, that's what I was thinking well, for. They just call it a ball cock, okay? But a fill valve, okay? Mm -hmm. um, of, um, you know, that's a minor toilet rebuild, mm -hmm. okay? And then we're staying in the lane. That's another thing, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't need, again, this, this is not a super duper sales technique, okay? It's psychologically how the customer's thinking, mm -hmm. all right? We're staying in the lane. We're staying in the toilet, mm -hmm. okay? So we're going to offer... The best is a, a, re, a replacement, mm -hmm. so a new, just your one, a one toilet, entry-level toilet, mm -hmm. not, not the, the toilet and then the upgrade from that toilet. And if you really want a great toilet that will clean, ah, you know, this toilet. No, just, just, just a toilet, okay? Mm -hmm. They may not want a toilet. In fact, they may come back and be thinking, well, I know you like to sell me your toilet, but I'm not going to buy the toilet. But they're not going to be put off by that because mm -hmm. it makes sense to them. Right. Of why you would offer it. Because the flapper's in the toilet. <clears throat> what, I, the, what I'm trying to get at is a lot of people use, you know, I'll, they, they do the, uh, the, the bait, and bait, bait and switch kind of a thing of, mm -hmm. hey, I'll throw in the, fly, the flappers, I'll throw in the flapper here if you buy our new water conditioning system. Huh? Or if I do this over here. And that, all of a sudden, it cut. Wait, what? What? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And then now you're just trying to sell me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is true. Which is what, what you're doing. You're trying true. to sell. And that's what all this sales stuff is all about and mm -hmm. trying to get your ticket out. Your tickets, will, your tickets will double and triple. And we see with our clients, mm -hmm. hundreds of them, okay, will double and triple by just doing this simple thing, yes. providing the options, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you give the price perspective like that, your right. flapper now, to replace the flapper is $300. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just say, we do have, we need $500 an hour because you're going to charge for all the time, the travel time, everything. We're using Three, your $300 an rate. hour. $300 by not, itself. 300 not, not $300 well, an hour. But $300 to replace the flapper. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I'm not joking. Okay. $300 to replace the flapper. Mm -hmm. Okay. The minor toilet rebuild. They're going to you know, see a price. Now that $300 by itself, $300. That's it could be, crazy. it could be $30 and it's $30. You can get to, you know, all that. It doesn't matter. Okay. All right. But $300 and then the minor toilet rebuild will be something like $600 mm -hmm. or $500. Okay. Replacing the toilet, eleven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this, these prices may be blowing your mind, but we have them being done mm -hmm. every day of the week. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, um, all over the, all over the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what what happens there? Price perspective. When they see that eleven hundred dollars, now that three hundred dollars doesn't seem as high. It happens every single solitary. You, you get time. what I'm. You get what yep. I'm laying down. So they're here? seeing. They're literally seeing because hopefully right. um, you're on some sort of tablet or something. You using field poles or, or something. If you're not, you need to move over. But in the meantime, you're going to put it on a piece of paper. Paper. You're going to put option one, flapper, and the price. Now your hourly rate. The full. Um, the full flat rate price. Right. So three hundred dollars an hour. Then it's option two. So, so three hundred. Three hundred dollars. Oh, three. Three, not an hour. Not, I said it too. Sorry. Three hundred dollars just for yeah the, for the flat rate price. And then option two is going to be um, the rebuild, and they're going to see five hundred dollars, and then replace toilet eleven $1 hundred dollars. As soon as I guarantee you guys this, as soon as Mrs. Jones or Mr. Jones sees eleven $1 hundred dollars, three hundred dollars does not seem like a lot of money. That's psychologically, guys, that's what's happening. Go right. and go and do this on Amazon. Go anywhere and look at this kind of stuff. Um, go shopping for clothes. Us ladies do it all the time. You know, a dress. You get a dress, and um, it says on sale. Well, the tag on the dress, um, you know, say the dress was fifty bucks. So the tag. Original price is $50. They're going to leave that $50 on there so you can see it. The new sale price, they're going to just use a little red pen or something to just, you know, go through the 50 bucks and then write in or whatever the new price, $29.99. Holy mackerel, that thing was 50 bucks and now it's only $29.99? That's, that's a steal. I can't afford not to get it. I, I'm saving money by just getting this dress. That's, why, that's, the, that's the thing I always there, there's say. There's been... Billions of dollars <laughs> spent on this kind on of customer psychology. Okay, and yes. this, so you don't. That's this is all you have to do. Mm -hmm. You don't need special. If if you're not doing this, the the, the companies we work with, if, when they start in in the, 
and they're struggling at, you know, we find out they're not doing this. Mm -hmm. Start the options, do the options, do the options. Do the options. It's so easy. Right. Period. So easy. Guys. And you say, and well, then, then the plumber comes out on you and you go, well, it's just a, a you know, a leak in a, you know, drain PVC, engine out PVC drain line. Mm -hmm. So there isn't a third option. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Replace, repair the, 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 the PVC spot, inch and a half spot there. Okay. All right. Could be 300 bucks. All right. Replace a 10 foot section or a five foot section. Doesn't matter. Five foot, 10 foot. Okay. 800 bucks. Repipe the whole freaking house. Your well, pipes are. They don't, they don't need it. They don't right. need it. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Repipe the whole, the whole house, you know, $4,997. When they see four thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars, that three hundred dollars is nothing. That, that's not right. Nothing. Okay. Yes. And what happens is what I call the Goldilocks syndrome. Okay. <laughs> this one's too cold. This one's too hot. But this one's just <laughs> right. Most of the time, they go with option two. They go with option two. Okay. Because they, they want to feel cheap, too. I mean, that's a customer psychology thing right, as well. I right. don't right? want to feel cheap. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not going to go all the way. But then even offering all the way, the, the replacement, okay, a lot of times they, they decide, I do want a new toilet. Mm -hmm. This is where you see your ticket, your average tickets double and triple without selling. selling. Mm -hmm. The customer's already sold. Right, because using the toilet example, it could be something where the, you know, the customer's like, you know what? This toilet's been clogging up on me, and it's it's been been around a while. I just I, let's just go ahead and replace it, right? So you gave them the option as opposed to, well, it's just the flapper that's broken, and so that's what I'm going to fix, and that's it. Well, you know, start providing the service to the customer, and you two two out of ten times, you're probably going to get a customer. It's like, you know what? Yeah, this. And let's go ahead and do the toilet. We had one customer who I remember, will never forget this. Um, did that very thing, um, and she got a Toto toilet. Toto mm. toilet. So yeah. And, yeah. And so then um, her, the husband loved the Toto toilet so much, so much that she in turn for his birthday replaced all the toilets in the house. And it was like four other toilets, I think, and bought all new toilets. And um, the technician brought out red bows because she told us that's what she was going to do and put red bows on those toilets when we replaced it. And I remember that call because mm. that's in the beginning when we were like first really working with this ourselves mm. and buying into this. Mm -hmm of the options. And that's also when Toto was new to the U S and I was new. So it wasn't like Toto wasn't, I was about to, you know, I did, I'd like the Toto mm -hmm. and they were over and I had them priced. I mean, the Totos, I, I think was I was, it a, it's like 1600 bucks for it with was it a the Drake, Drake, sure. the Drake, Drake. Right. Yeah. And I mean, I had five, I mean, it was surprised mm -hmm. that, and it was a flapper with this old toilet and mm -hmm. she wound up buying a new toilet right. and the husband loved it so much mm -hmm. that replaced the other three. Two, yeah, three, I remember. Yeah, for his nice, birthday. For his, right. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> That's quite the birthday gift, right? right? Here, right. honey, here's some new toilets. But he loved them so much. So you never know. You never know what a customer is going to do, especially if you don't give them the options. Right. right? And it's up to you as the professional in their home to give them those options. Right. It's up to you. To give them options, mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. which gives them choice, which is giving them control, mm -hmm. you know, and then gives them price perspective, mm -hmm. okay? And then, and uh, finally, you know, with this is, is collecting now. Because we're okay. providing a, a common customer buying experience. Right. The mm -hmm. customer pays. Customers, we pay at the time we buy anything mm -hmm. everywhere else. Yep. Okay. So they will actually, they will feel uncomfortable not paying right, right then. Even when you go to the doctor's office, you have to pay your copay or whatever. You have to pay that right, right then. Um, everywhere you go, you pay for um, whatever. You you go buy a new shirt at Kohl's or, or whatever. They're, you're not walking out the door going, hey, send me a bill, pay in 30 days. It's just not happening. So give the customer a common buying experience by collecting at the time of service. Again, right. using cash, check, all major credit cards. Make sure you got the little swiper thing. Um, it's it, as easy as that. Right. But if you're billing, and I think we covered this quite a bit in the last episode, if you're doing billing or anything like that, you, you are a dead man plumbing. And that yep. that's stupid. That's absolutely stupid. It's so mm -hmm. much better to walk out with money in hand at the end of the job. So much better. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, with, with this, when we're talking about, you know, getting your, what your customer is paying for and the whole, it's, it's the experience. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to make them feel comfortable through the whole experience, right. even up to the end. That's why we have, you know, you know uh, you know, we, we have the clients now that we, they have, they say that they have, you know, they're again, well, $500 an hour charging the way, you know, paying all this and the customers love them mm -hmm. and giving them five-star reviews and gladly paying them. Mm -hmm. 
It, because it's the experience. That's the whole Do they want to pay that for? No, no, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to have a plumber and mm-hmm. even have to pay money for plumbing. Mm-hmm. But they're buying the experience. Right. So give them the experience. Give them the experience. Yeah. It is that simple. <laughs> All right. Well, we busted the crap out of a whole bunch of myths. This was part <laughs> four of our myth busting series. Hope you enjoyed it. If you um, didn't miss or if you missed some of the previous ones, please go back and, and listen to those because they were definitely um, nuggets of gold dropped right. big time. Hey, so. And if you're struggling with some of these things that we're talking about and are ready to stop thinking like a plumber and ready to start thinking like a plumbing business owner and, and taking your plumbing business uh, to the levels that, that you dreamt of. All right, let's have a conversation. All right. Um, simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call mm-hmm. and we'll have a simple conversation. No push. We're not trying to sell you anything. Um, you know, we've mentioned the success Academy, which, which is an option. If, if you're ready for that, we'll introduce that to you. But there's no, no push for that. The bottom line with this conversation, we want to hear where you're at um, what what is standing in your way, and we'll point you in the right direction, yep. okay? And you go from there, mm. all right? Take it or leave it. So, so there you have it, okay. all right? But, uh, yeah, themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is a good one. Uh-huh. We busted these myths. Busted them right up. Okay, all right? Or excuses. Stop with the excuses, mm-hmm. all right, and get on with it. Act like a CEO. There we go. From hey, now on. Before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.